There we go. I've just received this message from a guy, guy called M13, and he got in contact with us, um, and he, he's a biker. And interestingly enough, he is involved a little bit in, in illegal racing. He, he said he could organize this whole day of bikes and madness. So he said he's not going to take his helmet off because he doesn't want to be filmed, and uh, for, for obvious reasons, because of illegal racing. He's got some GPS coordinates for us by some temple or something, and all the guys are going to meet, and then they, they do it like really early in the morning, so they obviously avoid traffic, and probably the police. So I could be, this time tomorrow, I could be in jail. Who knows? But anyway, we'll give them a go. guy might be who are these guys that we were going to go meet and where are they going to be nice and all those questions were sort of buzzing around your head he's not around what are the here we've got the leathers all the knee pads are all scraped out and they have obviously done lots of track days hey dude how are you See you. You alright? Yeah, yeah. Sorry we're running a bit late. Just nervous, nervous. I got all these guys breathing down my neck. Well, it seems like a big bunch of guys here. But, but too many. Okay, well. And here's the police already. It seems that the police have been tipped off about our early morning meet. <laughs> It's a language communication, that's all. He was saying it in Chinese, though, that which was difficult. We apologize on our behalf because we don't speak Chinese, so Claudia didn't understand what he was doing. Basically, we calmed down the policeman and said that we'll fuzz out your face and, and we won't use it. And that seemed to be good enough for him. So we finally managed to get on the bike and headed off just down the road to meet all the others. Hang on. Just to get on the bike and... ...road to meet all the others. I wonder how many times we're going to see the police today. Do you often get uh, hassle from the police? Yes. Yes. <laughs> all the time. Yeah, they didn't change shit. I'm not going to put it on the YouTube thing, but you're still there, full view. And wait, was that your plate? I don't know. I don't even know what your plate is. That, that you do no. have big bikes here. So what do people do before? Before the big bikes were legal in Taiwan, there was roughly, I think, roughly 20,000 illegal big bikes. And I, I think it was better back then because you'd ride in big groups, no one had license plates, no one had to worry about fines or anything. And the police, if you, if you were with the group, they would leave you alone because it was too much of a hassle. And the rule was if you're riding by yourself, you, you couldn't stop any red lights. Because you stop the red light, a cop might come right up behind you and pull out your keys. Yeah. So it was, it was heaven. <laughs> I used to do this when I was a bit younger. We used to go and meet and have a good, have a good look at burnout. Uh, these guys go quite quick, so we'll have to just make a judgment on how fast I want to go. She's all blocked out there. You can't read. <laughs> you can't read it. Hmm. <sighs> around this corner, down this hill, and there's one of the guys sprawled out on the road. Well, that's what happens with our excitement. Yeah, I'm not going to bore you anymore. You've seen that they called you an illegal street racer. They show your face. Yeah, so nothing's changed. 